Well, uh, you know, I really challenged our group to just play harder, and I thought that the uh, the energy was a lot different than it was last night. Um, you know, so we're learning some of those tough lessons, and uh, it, it felt like we earned a chance to get a victory. Um, we don't want the moral victories, but that's a really good team. Um, give a lot of credit to, to Lauren Zacharias. I mean, she put on a show. Um, we did a phenomenal job on the league's leading score, held her to 11, um, and Lozo stepped up, and that's what veteran players do. So. A lot, a lot of good things to walk away. We out-rebounded them. Um, we, we took 13 more shots than them, you know. So a lot of those things um, we can build off of. Um, but as you get closer and closer, it gets harder and harder. Yeah, we, we had three players in double figures, and we're always going to let Brooke shoot those shots. And, I, you know, I thought even she made the last one, which was maybe the, the biggest one. Um, but I thought, you know, there was one stretch there in the third quarter where we were kind of settling for threes. Um, we need to shoot threes. That's how we're built. But... Uh, we also got to have a little bit of an identity about ourselves is when the shots aren't going in, how are you going to manufacture points differently? So you try to post people up and try and get in the paint. And I thought we really got back in the game by doing that. So uh, we'll learn from it. We'll grow from it. At the end of the day, they need a little rest, um, you know, and I hope that they can go into uh, to Christmas break understanding that we just played with one of the top teams in the league. Um, we get to play them again, um, and our goals haven't changed. Um, we're still going to continue to try and get better the next time we get out, out on the floor. St. Thomas is, a you know, they transition to Division One. Um, you know, for us, we recruit a lot of, you know, obviously, Iowa players, but also Minnesota, Minneapolis especially. And um, it'll be really cool for those kids to play in that environment, um, play against some of the players that they played AAU with, things like that. And it's an exhibition game, and I wanted to make sure that we played something, somebody, before we go into conference play. Um, and then going on the road in Winona, and then we go on the road and start the northern swing. So, uh, you know, there's no time to feel sorry for ourselves. we got to continue to find a way to get better, get a little rest, but then we got to come back and we got to play like we did tonight, which is play with some fire, play with some urgency, and just scrap and play. You know, I thought the biggest, one of the biggest plays of the game was the first play, and we had Brooke and Jeff diving all over the floor. It just sets the tone. Um, we've got to compete like that on every single play. Um, so hopefully when we come back, uh, that has not left the back row yet. Uh, to try to get this win. Hawk now trying to get a basket Got and it. do so. Lilia Hawk finally creates. Up hour trying to get the ball inbounds. They're able to get it to Hawk. They need to put up a shot quickly. Shot clock down to 10. Huberty all the way down the lane. Nice hand one. Uh, also Upper Iowa needs to go down, get some nice looks at the basket. Don't have to score necessarily quick. Hawk though is going to take that and, and one. There we go. Finish there from the Lilia Pointer, I believe, at this point. Hawk now working up against Hammer. Gonna go inside, puts it up off the glass. Yeah, there we go.